What's up everyone, Takedown here. Welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be giving you guys just a quick little update on my channel. So for September, I'm going to be trying out something new. This past summer, I eventually got to 1,000 subscribers and I'm extremely happy that I did so. So for September, I want to test the waters with a new uploading schedule to see if it's worth putting out this many videos in one month. So prior to this, my upload schedule was Tuesdays and Saturdays. Now, occasionally each week, there was sometimes bonus videos, whether that be a hockey card video or a special video. So some weeks there were three videos. For September, as of right now, I'm going to be having four videos a week just to try it out to see if it's even worth pursuing and moving that into basically that direction. I'm going to do Tuesdays. Thursdays, Fridays, and Saturdays. As of right now, that's what I'm thinking for just September and seeing how it goes. Fridays are going to be my hockey card videos because I ended up looking at my already created videos and I have about 32 hockey card videos ready to go. So I'm going to continue uploading them every single week on Fridays up until the end of next year's playoffs. I think that's a great thing to do. Just getting more hockey cards going on my channel, which is something really big that I want to continue to do on my channel. Saturdays are going to remain video game related, whether that be one of my played and finished or my video game pickups or sharing a trophy that I got and how to do it, different things like that, or just talking about my favorite video games. Saturdays are likely going to remain as video game related. Thursdays are going to be a little bit of a mix of different things, whether that be Amazon videos or thrift hauls, which I have my first one coming out in September, or Flipping for Profit, a new series on my channel, which I will be starting in September as well. Just testing the water with those. So those should be out on Thursdays. And then Tuesdays will be any of my other videos that I put out. So four videos a week, just to try to see if it's worth doing that for September. Now, if it doesn't pan out and it doesn't go according to my plan, then I will reduce that to either back to two videos a week, Tuesdays and Saturdays, or I'll add Thursdays into the mix as a bonus video a week. But Fridays, as of right now, I think up until the end of the playoffs next year, Fridays are going to be when I upload a hockey card video. So I just want to see how September goes with all of these videos uploading. I have my schedule in advance. You guys know this. I like to prepare everything a couple months ahead of time of what's going to be uploaded for a single month and I'll upload it all in bulk and see how it goes. So right now I have all of my September videos scheduled for September. I'm really excited because some of them are pretty big ones. Some of them are ones that I'm testing out a new series like Flipping for Profit. So as of right now, that's going to be what my recording schedule is. Moving forward, you guys know because I made a video on it not too long ago where I'm talking about either hopefully returning to work at the casino, but as of right now, I just can't see the casino opening until 2021. Late 2021 is my prediction right now, so I'm not sure when I'm going to be going back to work at the casino, but right now I'm in the process to get hired with corrections. So I have already taken one test. I have a practice test for that test that I took and passed coming out in September. So the channel might have to change once again, once I start working, there's a possibility that once I start working, if I start working, whether it's full time or part time with corrections, that I might not be able to upload and put out as many videos as I have planned for September. So once I get hired on, if it all pans out, hopefully I'll still be able to make content. I'm hoping to at least do one or two videos a week for my channel. However, if I get into corrections, if I'm working a lot more, of course, I'm not going to have time to make as many YouTube videos. So at that time, I might have to reduce it instead of the four videos a week, which is what I'm trying out for September. I might have to reduce that back anyways to two videos a week like it was prior to September. So I just want to test the water for September, see how it goes. But there's a good chance if I get back to work, I'm going to have to shorten how many videos I do a week anyways. But I will see moving forward. I have all my hockey card videos planned. I have 32 already recorded and in batches. So I'm ready to upload those video game videos. I have a, quite a few of those and I still want to continue live streaming. So I'm not as consistent as I would like to do. 
because I am one week at home, one week at my girlfriend's right now, just until I get back to work. That way I can spend as much time with her as I can. So I am planning on doing more live streams whenever I'm back home. And whether that be two or three live streams a week, I think I only did one last week. So I'm gonna be trying to do a few more live streams, but again, if I get working again, whether it is with corrections, if everything works out with them, or once the casino opens, if I'm working with them, then I'll have to hopefully still be able to live stream at least once a week or once every two weeks. So I still want to do live streams. Now, with me going back to work, right now I'm thinking that corrections is going to be hiring me on part-time if I pass all of their steps and get in. However, I'm really hoping for full time with them because that'd be great money. That'd be a great career for me. I think I'd really enjoy it. And that will help me get motivated to move out of my parents' house, which is where I currently live and move in with my girlfriend somewhere closer for work for me. That would be really nice. We've been looking for months now of trying to hopefully get our own place. But right now with both of us not working because of COVID-19, that is really hard for us to do at the moment. So in the future, if I get working, that's the plan. But if I start working at corrections part time, and eventually when the casino reopens, I know that would be part time, that would at least make up full time hours for me. So I did want to mention that really quick that I'm hoping to get back to work soon. But now what else I have planned for the channel in the next couple months? Like I said, this past summer, I reached 1,000 subscribers here on my channel, which I was extremely happy. It took a lot of time to get to that level, and I'm extremely happy. And the channel has been doing good with revenue from the ads I've been putting on. So I'm hoping to take that money, like I did mention, whenever I was saying about getting 1,000 subscribers and putting ads on the channel, I'm going to be taking that money and hopefully putting it back into the channel in some way. And one way I thought about is giveaways. I plan on hopefully doing some uh, giveaways here on my channel over the next couple months is when I'm really going to dive in and see what I should be doing as far as giveaways. For my people that are here for hockey card videos, I do have some of my personal collection that I have a couple autographs, jersey cards, different numbered cards, things like that, that I'm willing to do as a giveaway for North America, so Canada or the United States because it does not cost too much for me to ship them from where I live over the border. So I'd be willing to do hockey cards as giveaways for the people that are here for hockey cards and also video games. I have a rare PS4 game that I have two copies for. I might decide and do that as a giveaway closer to Christmas. I think that'd be awesome to do, but a while back in a different video that is going to be uploaded in September, I did purchase a bunch of Xbox One, Xbox One games. And I've already made my money back and I have a lot left. So I might use one or two of those games as a giveaway, a future giveaway here on the channel. And with that, I looked up to see how much shipping would cost. So how I will ship them a video game would be wrapping it in bubble wrap, putting a little bit of bubble wrap inside so the disc doesn't move around, putting a little bubble wrap around it, and then putting it in a bubble mailer. That is safe and secure and it's going to cost me cheap to ship it. So that's likely what I will do. For those, as far as other giveaways on the channel, I'm not 100% sure. I don't really want to do gift cards for the PlayStation Store or Amazon or eBay, um, or unless I look into it a little bit more, because right now, since I live in Canada, I know specifically the PlayStation Store. If you purchase a gift card for the PlayStation Store here in Canada, if you try to use it on a PlayStation 4 in the United States, on the American PlayStation Store, it does not work. So that's right now. I do not want to do that at all. Just in case if an American does win and I send it to them and it doesn't work, then not only would I be out that money, but they're not going to get their prize that they won for the giveaway. So I am planning a few giveaways right now. Hopefully they will work out. If the one for Christmas, if I decide to do it and decide to do a few giveaways here and there here on the channel, then that giveaway will likely start I'm hoping in November and have it closed hopefully by the end of November. That way, if I ship it and put it in the mail, the winner will receive it prior to Christmas before the whole Christmas rush in the post office happens. So I'm really hoping to do a little bit more and give back with you guys. The channel's been doing good with the revenue, so it's nothing to 
say it's like a um, another source of income because it's not, but it's nice to have that extra money on the side. So whenever my subscriptions come up for my editing and TubeBuddy, I can use my money that I earned on YouTube for that. And I can also use it for giveaways here on the channel and also to purchase mystery boxes and different things like that to open up on the channel where I didn't have the money to do so before and possibly even taste test further down the line. So I wanted to give these quick little updates on the channel, what I have planned for September, how my upload schedule will be for September, but also moving forward to the end of the year. If I get hired on with corrections, part-time, full-time, it doesn't matter. I might have to reduce how many videos come out a week, but there hopefully will still be uh, videos coming out every week. Hopefully I'll do two regular videos and every week on Friday will be a hockey card video just because I have 32 ready to go and I'm still purchasing hockey cards and making videos. So I have a lot to go and upload for hockey cards. So if you're here for hockey cards, there's a lot coming your way. Video games, there's a lot coming out and also new series coming out on the channel as well moving forward into the end of the year. I have a lot planned for the channel and I do want to give back whether it be giveaways or new types of videos. I have a lot coming your way. So thank you for watching if you stay through the entire thing. I know most of the time these videos on my channel do not get many views, but hopefully you did watch till the end so that way you can know that there's going to be future giveaways here on my channel. I'm going to leave this video here. Please take care. Peace.